What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I decided to make a how-to video and talk about how to fish for beginners. Um, this right here, I bought my friend. Um, he needed a whole new setup. His setup was completely jacked, rusted, old poles or anything. But when he asked me, um, I was like, do you need a swim bait setup, a bait setup? I went too technical. He's like, I just need a setup that's not gonna break the bank. And that's what I did. So I'm here to show you this pen. Um, let me see, let me flip it, there you go. This pen uh, rod, it's only like 60 bucks. Squadron two, it is a nine foot medium fast action, 12 to 20 pound mono, seven to 30 pound braid, but I have, I bought 40 pound braid. Now the reel, is a pen reel fierce three um 5, it's a little bit on the bigger side but let's open it up got some blue braid on there just so you can see and let's get it out okay there you go that's the let's fix this real quick that's the that's the reel right there See all both well, and I added a line to it. So all this together was around $160. It seems my, that may seem expensive, but it's actually pretty cheap, and it's gonna last a while. Now what I use is the Okuma rod, SST rod, which is a 8.6 length medium action, 10 to 20 pound mono, um, and I actually put like almost 50 pound braid and it's not it I mainly use swim bait so I don't use it for to lift them up off the cliffs if you saw some videos but I pair that with a it's kind of beaten up a, Sh a Shimano Socorro reel it is a I believe a 5000 as well and the reel itself was like a hundred and like 20 something maybe 130 I'll link everything in the description now that is and the rod itself was like 80 bucks but the kuma actually have have lifetime warranty so that's why they're really they're really good about that and they're sensitive enough to so i can use my swim baits so that's the gear now let's get into how to set this up i mainly use swim baits so i'm going to show you how to do that um i'm just going to explain the knots uh, in a different video, if you want me to show you how to uh, actually do a, the knots, I can do that. But, but for right now, I'm just going to name the knots. So this, I use a, a uni knot to tie my main line. So pretend this is onto the, onto the pole. This is my main line braid. I use a uni knot. Alright. Cut off the tag end. See if I have a knife around here, and I do. This is my leader line, 50 pounds or 40 or 30, depends. I use usually 50 because you see the some of the videos we hook onto some big fish. Again, another uni knot, and just cut off that tag end. A little tangled here. Okay. I use about like maybe two and a half feet of leader, right? So you got your main braid, swivel, and the leader. Depending on the water, these are the weights I use. If it's pretty, and depending on the size as well. So this is one of my old swim baits that a link had destroyed, as you can tell, the bloody pepino. Um, if it's a calm day, all I use is half an ounce. Or if it's still not doing the trick, maybe three eighths, um, or an ounce. I go from the I go from the smallest to the biggest. I notice that if you go less weight, you get snagged less. But sometimes I'll add them together, put like an ounce and a half, and that does the trick as well. It all depends on how the water looks like. I use a J hook, and if there's different types. So there's this size, right, so you see, 
for this type of swim bait. And then there's this big one for this type of swim bait. See, the difference is one has a screw and one doesn't. The way you set this up, it's a Texas rig. And you can see, you see that there's a, there's a curve where you want to put in the hook down, maybe like eighth of an inch and come straight out. Go and push all the way up, all the way up. And when you get to this little bend, twist the hook and work it all the way up so it can look like that. Now this is where a lot of people mess mess up. Instead of just pushing into the hook right here, you'll get a weird setup. So you want to measure where the hook is going to come out. So the hook should come in around here and I'll bend my swim bait and then push the hook all the way straight down. And when it comes out, it should be, <clears throat> it should be flush. Now the reason I do this is because when it goes by the rock, if it hits a rock, it's going to go straight through. An exposed hook like that is going to catch on everything. Now the same thing here. Instead of going down though, you use this swivel and all you do is a little just screw it, in, or sorry, a screw. All you do is just screw it in. Just twist, 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 twist. And you see where the hook should be. Bend the swim bait and push the hook straight down. And you can even tuck it in. And then that's it. And that's how you set up the your swim bait to your hook. Now, with the bullet weights, sometimes they get closed up like that. So if you can see, they get closed up. So I just put a hook in there and open up the hole. Anyways, so I'll go bullet weight first. And if it's too crazy out there, I'll put an egg sinker, right? Just like that. No bobber stopper, no nothing. And then just another uni knot. Cut off the tag end. That's a bad knot, but you get the point. And that's it. Throw that out, let it hit bottom, slow retrieve back. That's how I set up my swim baits. Now let's talk about how we set up for bait. Okay, so for bait, um, I don't have any coin weights. Typically we'd go for a coin weight um, because they just, to me, they're better. Somebody's jumping in the pool over there. So again, same thing, braid to the swivel and then to the leader uh, for the braid, uh, for bait it could be the same thing two and a half feet it doesn't matter uh, a lot of people go snap swivel and do this other stuff but that's a little bit too much for me uh, if you don't want to lose too much gear so I'll just tie my leader straight to my sinker with a uni knot again and again everyone's different if you not if you have your own way and it works do that I'm just showing you my way that works for me this is what my dad taught us since we were, since I was like eight or six or eight, seven, maybe sometimes, who knows. Then you get your regular hook, right? And you're on the top of your hook, there's a loop. So you measure maybe like, a, cause you want the end of the, the hook to be not too far away from the sinker. Cause you think, if you think about it, he's a rock fish and they stay close to the bottom. So if you want your, your hook, not too high up, but not too low. Just find a good spot and then you want what you do is you grab your leader right you just make a loop just bunny ear loop you put the hook loop through that loop then you grab your hook and you push it through the loop of the leader and you pull and she does that now the problem with this is it's going to slide up and down so what you have to do is grab your line again this is the leader line this is the hook line and you wrap it around your fingers once and you put the hook through that loop and then you try to get the tie the knot right behind that first loop get it nice and tight and that should secure it in place just like that so when you're at the bottom it looks just like that bait can dangle hooks on uh, weights on the bottom Fish comes and eat it, and now you're eating fish for dinner. 
Um, there's other ways to rig this. It's basically a dropper loop. There's definitely other ways to rig this. This is just the simple, easiest way um, to show you. And if it works, great. If your way works, great. If your way, if my way works for you too, awesome. Um, and that's basically how we do bait. But again, I'm more of a swim bait guy. Well, I think that's it for this video. It's a really short one. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe for more videos. Can't wait to throw this bad boy again. Or melt it down and fix it. A little preview of my other swim baits. Bam! Now these are my swim bait box that's always with me on every trip. And I got all different colors. I even got big old 7 inch ones. Can't wait to try these. I think actually all of these swim baits except this one are my own that I've made. And I got that's kind of our lighter colors and this is more of the darker colors. Look at this one. Probably a little cup greening color right there. All right, well, that's it for this video. Kind of short one. Stay tuned and hopefully, hopefully I'll be out there soon. I'll show you some link cut on these swim baits. Uh, fish on, baby, fish on. First fish on. Let him eat your eyes. You can set that hook, dude. Yeah. Oh. 